was thinking about indomitable spirit, and I think that perhaps my definition might be different than a lot of people's, mostly because I recognize indomitable spirit in others, uh, and then I watch how their version of it brings about uh, kind of upset for others, and but mostly for themselves. Um, so, indomitable spirit, that, uh, you know, your word is law, so to speak. You know, you, you believe in yourself, you believe in uh, your ability to perceive, understand, and take action in an appropriate way. Um, and I think, I think that's the only way to live. I think that you have to uh, believe in yourself and keep believing in yourself and, until, you know, that, you know, but not blindly, like, you know, you are uh, using yourself as a guide um, to gain confidence and your confidence is based on uh, a history of um, making choices that worked out uh, good for you and for other people. So, occasionally, uh, I see people who display indomitable spirit also display a ton of anger when, you know, their their spirit, their their perception, um, their their thoughts, their actions, uh, their conclusions on, on things, isn't uh, immediately uh, adopted as everyone else's way. Uh, it's kind of like I've got it figured out, so now I'm going to give it to you, and now you have it figured out. But it's so weird that somebody that would come up with some indomitable spirit, which would develop that as a trait, would think then that something that they would deeply resent um, would be okay for others. Like you can't like walk up to somebody with indomitable spirit and tell them how to think. Tell them like, oh no, don't do it that way. That's wrong. The right way to do it is that's going to drive them nuts. Um, well, it, most most people with indomitable spirit would drive nuts. Um, Oh, this is quite a nice place, isn't it? Look at that. I just found this place. Um, here's, I'll, I see people say, oh, I, I believe this to be true. And then somebody that, you know, doesn't have that same kind of indomitable spirit, but might have a lot of experience in that area. You know, they're not... Uh, they're not overly confident or uh, maybe even imposing. Maybe they are confident, but they don't want to impose their confidence on others. So the indomitable spirit person says, um, this is true, uh, but yet a person with, with more experience that has been there the longest and has seen the most will say based on their experience, oh, actually, no, that's, that's very similar to that. Um, so I see how you would come to that conclusion, but that's actually this. And, you know, that sounds like correction or uh, I'm telling you you're wrong, um, when really the person is voicing uh, what he believes to be true based on his, uh, and in this case, the one I'm thinking of, um, superior uh, knowledge of the situation. But so someone with indomitable spirit should say, okay, I'm taking that under consideration. I'm not going to automatically assume I'm right about absolutely everything because my history would tell me that that's not going to be the case. Um, you know, you don't immediately abandon your initial impression. You add that second impression uh, to your first and see, uh, see what you come up with. Um, and if you're... Uh, you know, if you don't, if you're not, if you don't fiercely hold on to what you believe to be true. I mean, that's not where your loyalty should lie as someone with indomitable spirit. Your loyalty should uh, not lie with what you believe. Your loyalty should lie with the truth. So you take it under consideration, and then over time, uh, you know, in that case, I'm thinking of, you realize that oh, that that was. I was mistaken, and I see how I was because it was a very similar situation to what I thought it was. 
Um, so you don't, uh, you don't, you don't ruffle anyone's feathers. The person with, you know, the vast majority of the experience, you don't make them feel like, you know, oh, well, I'm new here, but uh, you're totally wrong. <laughs> um, you're like, oh, okay, and then you come across somebody that's cautiously accepting, um, not blindly accepting, which, which is the what people with indomitable spirit uh, can't stand that blind, blind acceptance of uh, other people's truth. So, you know, it should not, it, your own truth uh, should never be blindly accepted either. It should always be open to, uh, to revision. Uh, yeah, well, that's it for now. Uh, my, my, I, my theories and ideas on indomitable spirit. Um, I'd probably go on more, but look at this place. It's awesome. I'm just going to walk around and explore it.